On the first day that Security Breach came out, back in December 2021, we beat the game in five minutes by the end of the first day. By the end of the week, we'd beaten it in three. Then when Ruin was coming out, I made some predictions that turned out to be true. I figured the game would be linear, so Steel Wool would have an easier time keeping us along one path. And I figured that areas would only load as you progressed, not just loading around you wherever you went. This turned out to be correct. And by the end of the first day of Ruin's release, the fastest speedrun was still well over an hour. The game was hard to crack. It had no endings that could be accessed in earlier areas. And we would never beat Ruin as quickly as Security Breach, because of one essential way the game works. Chapters. The game has nine chapters, from entering the pizza plex to getting chased by Grimmick, and we can't skip any of them. The reason for this is simple. The trigger to load chapter two only exists at the end of chapter one. It's impossible to go from chapter 2 to 4 because the start of 4 only exists in 3. It doesn't really matter what we do during those chapters, but we have to go through the start to the end of every single one to complete the game at the end of chapter 9. The quickest way to speedrun the game then becomes finding and pulling off the quickest way to go from the start to the end of each chapter, skipping the vast majority of the game, but still having to go through most of it. The run got under an hour pretty quickly, which can be done mostly without skips. Then under 50 minutes, so some out of bounds skips were found. Then with a few more skips, we were on the cusp of going under 40 minutes, and that's when we realized that we could definitely get all of Ruin under 30. This is the story of the two week grind that started here in what would result in an extremely fun, extremely challenging speedrun of Ruin that by the end would manage to remove any mention of Chica, Roxy, Freddy, and the Mimic. Just 30 minutes of pure out-of-bounds speed, showing that even though the game is really well built, we still beat it quicker than anyone would have initially expected. One thing that's important to mention is that at this point we didn't have a load remover for the timer, so the timer wouldn't stop when the game was paused or loading. Because load times are different for everyone, runs are properly timed with in-game time, but we wouldn't be able to show that for a few days. This day was when Sub-30 started to really look doable, after adding a number of new out of bounds skips. Each of my splits are a chapter, only 6 show up at a time, but there's 9 in total. Obviously, strats are still fairly unrefined, and there would be a lot of fumbles. But to explain where the run is at the start of these two weeks, I'll go over the full run with a juicy new PB. What has definitely helped me get better at these runs is that I've just been streaming longer, going from a usual 4 to 5 to more 5 to 6 hours. Normally I'd perish around the 5 hour mark, but drinking water, of all things, has made the difference in my energy, partially thanks to this water bottle, which sponsors this video. I didn't expect basil lemon to be my favorite flavor of Air Up Pod, but after going through all the ones sent to me a couple months ago, I've settled on that one. It reminds me of my first job at an old folks home as a server. I'd sneak the lightly flavored lemon in some leaf water after cleaning up after meals. The water was for the old people, but I'm not even sure they knew it was there. My manager was not a fan of my water theft though, and I got in trouble multiple times. But that water was worth it. And with AirUp's way of flavoring water through scent, this pod recreates that well-earned taste. That manager was also later fired for mistreating servers, though the water incidents are mostly unrelated. My AirUp bottle's been nice to have around. Drinking water is a pretty big no-brainer, and it can be easy to forget when you're not working outside where your body screams at you for the stuff. Even easier to forget when I'm editing and not hearing Ashley's hourly hydration reminders. Time to hydrate at hour one. It's not hour one yet. Hour two. Stay hydrated, everyone. <laughs> chat, remember to stay hydrated. Oh, Ashley has so noticed the hour four. <laughs> and now chat should notice ah! the hydration. Last almost hour five hydration reminder. Push the pod down and the water is normal. Up for taste. And taking it off is also just as simple. I should say that I did struggle with the suck-only mouthpiece of the bottle at first, since I'm a cereal sports water bottle overhead squeezer. But you get used to it quick, and Paige has gone through a couple of her poorly made water bottles in the time I've had the air up. It's a well-built bottle of water. You can use my code ASTRAL now for 15% off your own air up. Happy sipping. Chapter 1 starts normally. We get the flashlight and make our way to the elevator shaft. You don't need the flashlight, but it's quicker to pick up than it is to skip. The bowling mini game really made to come to this, old place this game. Then... I'm so happy they went out of their way to not only put the extra few hours Maybe it would take to there, finish Chica's Feeding Frenzy and uh, the golf holes, but also make an entirely new mini game. 
I love how they finished the gallery too and put that into the game. That must have taken a lot of work. Since the gallery was so far from being finished in Security Breach, I'm sure it was really hard to port it over, add three characters, and put it in the next installment. Is this a gallery? Yeah, in Security Breach. I am salty about the gallery. It really... It wouldn't... It wouldn't have killed. It really wouldn't have killed to just finish it. Even even not add the new characters. And just put it in for Security Breach. What's up? The elevator shaft out of bounds begins. What settings am I using? Uh, potato graphics because it helps with this jump, weirdly enough. And a mix of contrast and gamma that makes things fairly bright. This skips that first time Chica jump scares you. Skips going through the vent and falling out of it. Woo! And a, a view mode that makes the outdoors bright sunny. One time my brother slept through your UCN speedrun vid where you didn't cut any jump scares. You wanna know a secret? We actually did cu cut a couple jump scares from that video. Yep. We lied. Why? Uh, I think because I was like weirdly talking through it. Something that we didn't need to include in the video. So if we did include them, it would have been like me saying half a word alongside the jump scare, which would be kind of weird. So we cut a couple like that. What computer am I using? I am using a very expensive computer that uh, only really makes sense to buy if you have a ton of money or use it to make money. What brand is it? It's not. It's, a, it's an assembly of pieces put together. Pieces that I don't even know because I didn't pick them <laughs> and I didn't put it together and I don't know what they are, but there's a command for it. I sure hope my PC is not a crypto farm. I downloaded the wrong itch.io game and suddenly my PC is a crypto farm. You may notice that Don't Softlock, the aptly named Chapter 1 split, is over a quarter of the game. This never changes. Chapter one is by far the longest chapter and it's impossible to get it down to like five minutes or lower because of just how much distance you need to travel. I've never really had it get warm. This skip takes advantage of objects only existing in the mask world or real world. By positioning yourself properly and switching mask on and off, you can force yourself out of bounds and we use this to skip way past all of lower Monte Golf and past the first node. Hitting a checkpoint that when reloaded allows us to finish the nose needed for the electric door and move forward. Alright, best menuing I've had today. Oh, I watch YouTube shorts sometimes. I never go on TikTok. Not because I don't like TikTok. Just because I, I watch two week old TikToks on Instagram. That's how you know they're good. They've been filtered. True. I think they might have changed Mazer Size again with the release of Ruin. Because they did a couple things to Security Breach. They semi-killed Gigamonte. The main reason for the last jumps are to skip a 30 second conversation with Helpy. I haven't tested it myself, but apparently there's like a safeguard for duplicating. That stops it from- stops you from being able to duplicate like quickly. So you can make Gigamonte, it just takes a long time. How many hours do I have? Well, this is now, like this is adding to my security breach hours now. On Steam security breach, I have like 370. Actually on security breach, I have about 600. I just mostly played on uh, not launch through Steam. You felt like I had more than 600? 600 in, I mean, I didn't, you know, I only played it a lot for like three months after it came out and then I only really played it occasionally, so. Most of those 600 hours <clears throat> were in the first three months. Yes, you make me nervous, but it, I, nothing bad has happened yet. That means it never will. I have way more hours on the pirate game, yeah. I have 2,000 on the pirate game. But I have more hours streamed of Security Breach now no. than Sea of Thieves there. by probably like 30 now. Chapter 1 ends as you enter the daycare but there will be no mention of Eclipse. My goal with this skip is to get out of the daycare and move on, but also to set up a mask warp. You'll see why. 
Basically, we stayed in the real world when we put the mask on here due to the game not being able to teleport Cassie there. So when we take it off, we upwork, since the game thinks we're going from AR world to real, when in reality, we go from real to above real. You can never really do the later levels of GTFO on your own. You can do some A levels, maybe a B, but you're never going to do the, the ones that we have left alone. I guess it would maybe be possible if you used bots, but I'll pass. Ah, uh, yes, splitting. I'm just gonna split it, actually. That's chapter two, there's not much else. Instead of summoning Giga Throw Tando, you can just go out of bounds and find the right spot to teleport to the vents above. Enter Catwalks, Chapter 3. You have 4 to 5k in CS? Damn. I think I might have passed 100 in CSGO. It's like been my casual, you know, between editing game or some evenings with friends for a couple months now. What rank am I? Uh, not Silver 1 or Silver 2. I've been asked a lot if this two minute Monty ride could be skipped, but no. The ride is what loads chapter three. You need to ride it for chapter three to appear. This ride is the best example of our limitations, but it's a nice bathroom break. Chapter three will become the number one worst spot for resetting runs, but at this point I just played it somewhat normally. First going backwards to get the last two child nodes first, then turning around and doing the first two. Yeah, League's trying to change the way ranks work. They added, like, a Sapphire or something, and they're trying to balance it out more. They added Emerald. Yeah, and they're trying to balance them out more. So it's not, like, 99% of the players in, like, gold or lower. Monty is called Monty in the DLC, but we've been calling him Ronty because he's Monty's feral cousin. But yeah, my goal in CS is like gold one. And then after that, I don't want to rank up anymore because games will be too sweaty. And I just want to have fun. Nineteen months, poggers. Good luck on the runs, Spit. Hope you can crush your old time spig flower. Thank you. Oh, that's a good start. How do you do this? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this first major time loss of the run. Just fucking puzzled. Uh, it's a kid's game, bro. Kids are smart, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. With catwalks done, this is normally where you'd enter Chica's bakery and deal with her a bunch. But this is where single out of bound skips start making entire chapters only a couple minutes long. And Chica isn't even a part of it. Yeah, Portal's a kid's game, kind of. I would I would say Portal is for the the maturing folk. How do you know? The teens and above. Also, I totally forgot to mention that you might see me climbing ladders really fast. That's because if you use both keybinds in game for moving up and down ladders, Pressing both doubles your speed. Only works on ladders though. Double interruption, when you see me jumping while running, it's not because it's faster, it's because you don't lose stamina while airborne, but maintain the same speed. So it's just a way to preserve stamina. Sorry, back to the run. I played like Prince of Persia or something when I was a kid and I got stuck like immediately because I guess I didn't read the tutorial on how to run walls like run along walls. And I remember just like the magic of seeing one of my friends clear like, you know, however far I was three minutes into the game by running along the wall. I was like, whoa, that's insane. Point is, I couldn't have played Portal as a kid. <laughs> That's the point of that. 
little story. This death is intentional, similar to reloading areas so they load in. The door isn't there so you can get the checkpoint on the other side to skip the node, then you just continue from there. That's me skipping the entire bakery, and that's pretty much the end of the chapter. Has anyone documented the result of every prediction, or should that be my job? <laughs> Option C. Nobody has, and you don't have to put yourself through that, madman. That would be interesting to know, though, what the average is. Oh god, I'm very intrigued. What do you think the win-loss rate is between believer and non-believer predictions? I remember playing Zelda games as a kid and constantly True. getting stuck because yeah. I didn't read dialogue. Yeah, Zelda games were pretty nasty for getting stuck. 50-50? 70% win? Mm, it is not 70% 70, 70 win, I'm gonna be honest. I remember getting stuck in Twilight Princess when you have to catch that fish. Because the Twilight Princess fishing rod is like the weirdest... I, it's like a spear on a string. I have no idea how the Twilight Princess fishing rod works. And so I had such a hard time catching that fish for the cat. You got stuck in Twilight Princess in the desert dungeon where you got to find the lamps? I very vaguely remember that. Though I, I want to replay Twilight Princess. I started a replay like two years ago, but I only got to like the first Goron temple. This part looks like the Emoji movie. I haven't seen the Emoji movie. Does it have a lot of like Matrix purple stuff everywhere? This is the MatPat incident, where he accidentally skipped all of Roxy's salon just by taking off the mask at the wrong spot and teleporting to the salon exit. Ooh. We knew about it before he played the game, but he still deserves credit for his little oopsie. The skit makes chapter 5 an incredibly short and simple chapter. Oh shoot. Yeah, at times Twilight Princess is way too hard for me too. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, catastrophic mistakes. Okay, so I'm gonna split here for that. Not actually two minutes ahead. Now on to six, getting on this ladder loads the area, and if you go to the bottom, Shark Monty comes flying in and slightly bothers you. Yeah, so that's how easy that, that boost should be. I don't know why I struggled with it so much last time. That is, if you don't just jump over his trigger. Skyrim codes, code moon, the code rooms always had you asking your brother. Those weren't that bad, were they? Gosh, that I gotta think about that. That's a long time ago. You had to like turn, there were like four pictures option on each pillar and you had to turn them. I don't remember what the hints were. Just like things on the wall. Now you wanna play Are Skyrim okay? again? Just wait, they'll re-release hmm. it on the PS6. I so might you can be able play to get it a there. If... Assistance. Do you need assistance? Shh. Be quiet. Who's ready to kill the run? Me. I am ready. This is another Roxy section where you get her to break through a bunch of doors. That is totally skipped. Then the second mask warp of the game is performed. If you take the mask off during a cutscene, you won't get teleported and you'll be able to use that up warp. Like this. Obviously the next area isn't loaded, so we gotta go back a bit to load it. This skips chatting with Gregory, and of course... Give me back my eyes! I'm actually cracked at the video game, holy shit. Chaos mod wasn't really a randomizer, no. Onward to the shortest chapter, Bonnie Bolt. It had randomness to it, but itself... It itself wasn't a randomizer. Bunny Bull is one of the hardest parts of the game with all the music man nonsense, but we just go right over it and dip out. Hello! What's up, Fred? Oh. 
In case you haven't noticed, there's a reason why the Bonnie Bowl split is called rip bitrate. I'm almost definitely uh, not gonna have another zoom stream, no. There. That was a bit of a, a one-off. Just like that, the Fazer Blast node and Freddy Chase are skipped, and we're just a couple vents away from the final chapter. Okay. You need to find an alternate Bonnie Bull skip? Why? Mythic. The Bonnie Bull skip is like the most reasonable, straightforward skip in the game. The wedge jump's so inconsistent. Oh, I don't have much problem with it at all. Yeah, it'd probably be awful on console with the controller. I imagine that being pretty bad. Um. What? Okay. Glad that turned out okay. Don't know why that happened. I was too fast for the game, I guess. Never seen that before, and I didn't, like, miss a loading area. Very odd. Please don't deactivate Roxy. Roxy. Look away. You're a special day. I remember. Cassie? What are you doing? Censor this? Yeah, uh, it's okay. This big blue bar shows up over top. So sorry. I love Carrie. Happy birthday, Cassie. Give me back my eye! Hey, we skipped! <laughs> For the first time ever, we skipped, give me back my eyes. That's the first we see Roxy in this run. That's funny. The first time and last time you see her in this run is to give her the old wrench. Yes, the story really builds up between Cassie and Roxy as she never encounters her until she kills her. Okay, so I don't want to jinx it, but we have a minute time save here. But that's because I failed the jump last run. I need to not fail the jump this time. I see Monty in two cutscenes and then I kill him. Ma looks like Monty is the main character after all. But yeah, you don't see Chica at all. You don't see Freddy at all, which is understandable. He's not as big of a part. Oh yeah, no eclipse. You see the endos. They spawn in front of you. Oh my gosh, there's so little enemies in this. We don't see the mimic? <laughs> That's wild. We really, we see Candy Cadet at least. There he is. By jumping out of bounds and down to the Mimic Chase area, we can skip the trigger that makes the chase start at all. So the game just ends with Cassie running down a tunnel while Gregory gaslights her over something that isn't actually behind her. And the Brazil ending is the fastest, just because it's the closest. All right, that's it. But uh, it's not gonna be sub 35 yet. But it's it is like damn nice. Bummering. Yeah. Pretty nasty. 3542. So that puts me a couple minutes off world record right now. Gosh, where do I lose time? Pretty much just like everything being not quite as fast as world record. I made two fairly big mistakes. God, what were they? The puzzle and... I went the wrong way in the map pad thing, it's true, yeah. 35 minutes, with a number of small mistakes, and overall things weren't all done that smoothly. Factor in as well that about a minute of that time was spent loading the game, which would be removed for the final time. So actually, the run was about 4 minutes off sub 30. World record was held by Hamter at the time, an insanely good runner that has been around since Security Breach and had way better movement than me, with a 32.50. He wasn't going to be able to do runs for a couple days, though. So I was given an opportunity to briefly be the best. Things were about to get a lot harder, though, because I'd have to improve some of my strats, namely my slower daycare skip, where my don't softlock split name would really come into play. It was very easy to mess this up, and if you did, the run was dead. 
few of those later, and I called it for the day. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> it's, it's been good. It, it's been, it's been good. <laughs> we got two good PBs today. Got our time down by five minutes. No, I didn't jump. I know I meant to jump but I held off too long. First thing of every new day, patch notes. What I practiced and what the speedrun community had discovered. Anyway, I have good news and bad news. Bad news? Okay, there's a new jump that's gonna kill like 50% of runs. That's the bad news. What's the good news? I'm better at the jump that was previously killing 50% of runs. So... <laughs> We've just kind of replaced it with another bad jump. So yeah, see, I'm better at this guy now. You know, hooray. But we've just kind of replaced the problem strat with another problem strat. What's a soft lock? A soft lock as opposed to a hard lock is when you can still make little movements, but you cannot progress. What did I just... So, in my case, it would be stuck out of bounds. And welcome to the new catwalks route, chat. Gonna be good. So, step one is to activate this. Not because it's faster, but because we're gonna be doing the entire thing backwards. So no doubling back, just the whole thing backwards. Security node? And tracking controller. So chapter three is. is done backwards now. Completely. Yeah. We get on the chair. We're on this chair. We just activated it. We stare at the bridge intently. And we are on the bridge. Very interesting. So that's one. That's not the hard part though. And now we got to go up. And here comes the hard part. So... This is the jump that's gonna kill about 50% of runs. <laughs> it's just really tight. Uh, so I'm gonna do it till I get it right now, and then we're gonna start using it in runs. It's like, I, we might be able to try it twice in runs. I don't know. That would have been good if I jumped like a frame sooner there's also another jump later that is almost just as bad as um this one but i found an easier version of doing it so yep, there we go struggling anyway i say thank you for getting me into speed running this game i just got my run down to an hour so i'm getting there slow and steady oh fuck yeah so there we go chat there's the jump and there's the easy version of jumping this gap that i just did as well so at this point we're done all the nodes and we just go back to the start so yeah i'm not going to continue but that's the route we just gotta play the game for 10 minutes and then hope we get one jump pretty much is the plan pretty sweet <laughs> but it'll be such a nice time save if we get it please for the love of god explain the split background uh it's from barbie and the magic of pegasus at the end, she goes in to, like, kiss her dad's forehead or cheek or something, Hello, but Skook. that First time frame to... is weird. I don't know if Noah's Ark would count as being more famous than the Titanic, because it's... Is that a boat? Or is it an ark? Is there a difference? Oh, and it also didn't sink. Yeah, what? Why are we even having this conversation? <laughs> no, the Titanic's the most famous boat sink. I think that the live split background should be the Ocean Gate Titan for funny. What happened to it? Oh yes. I love five people getting crushed under miles of ocean. Peak humor. Or six people, whatever. People. Put the live split as the live split background. Damn. The chair warp I had it fail a couple times while I was practicing, but I don't really know why. So I think this runs dead, which I don't mind actually. Where should I aim? What if I aim just right of that? Okay, that worked. Sure, we'll go with that. Let's go practice the run. Pressure's off because this run's dead. Oh, I'd like to take a crack at maskless, see where it's at. Crouchless, maybe. 
Oh, first try. How's it going? If only this run wasn't dead. And then, hold on. And then I gotta be quicker with this. Yeah. Oh. I start college next week, and I've tried to plan my schedule around your stream time. Ha! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why there? I'm not resetting in Senso. Despite the death, we are still. What the fuck is this puzzle? Okay, good. We are still cooking. That's not where you split Monty Ride. Oh, you're right. Still gold. <laughs> Been a while, Roxy. It's always a good time when we get to see you. All right, we got one more thing we gotta do to guarantee this peanut butter. The world record's 32 something. So if we pull this off, it's basically our run. Without that catwalk's death. <laughs> no Freddy, no Mimic, no Chica. Just us in the Brazil ending. I'm hurrying, Grigori. Nice. Shock, that's surprising that that last split's a gold. I don't know what that puts us, but maybe top three. I, I like the first one. Well, I'm gonna go with the first one for now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. After our early success, getting almost within a minute of world record, we then spent the next three hours resetting to mostly catwalks. What are the rules with FNAF fan games? Like, obviously, they have to be free. That's easy. But is there- are there any other rules, really? They can't be too similar to existing games, I guess, is one. No, there are other rules, because they can't be too similar to existing games. I know that has been an issue. No racism? Well, that'll be really hard for me. Are there any <laughs> that I might run into? Probably no illegal stuff? Come on, chat. I'll put jaywalking in my fan game. <laughs> Crime. I wouldn't put littering. I hate littering. Me and Paige are the anti-littering of the neighborhood with our, our recycling hunt walks. God, where were we yesterday? She found a can in just the most random spot yesterday. I think it was just like on the floor, hidden away in a store that we were at. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess we might have to take a look at that jump. So like, you gotta jump slowly before the barrel. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's uh, as the kids say, it is Jover. Yeah, yeah, so laundering money is if you're acquiring it illegally, so you pay taxes on it as if it's acquired legally. By, like, reporting a massive amount of cookie sales at your bakery or something. But then there's, like, avoiding taxes by sending money abroad or whatever. And that's potentially legally earned money that you just don't want to pay taxes on. I have not done either of those. Tutorial? Uh... There's a country with, like, zero income tax. I don't know which one it is though. Dubai? Okay, yeah, so you send your money to Dubai and then, I don't know, report it as being in Dubai or something. And then you take it back home, I guess. Yeah, Dubai the country, yeah. I know it's not a country. I said country and then somebody said Dubai, so I just went with Dubai. I realize it's not a country. But you'd have to move there? That makes sense. So what if you won the lottery and you were about to get absolutely chunked of your earnings and you just like dipped out to dubai would that work not at all okay <laughs> damn that's too bad you have to have a business in dubai and have to buy a house in dubai to not pay taxes oh but then you might as well just pay taxes <laughs> instead of buying a house huh that doesn't really work i get it dubai so you have to buy a house wait a second you could just sell the house after cleaning your money then you get invested for, investigated for tax fraud, and then they find you innocent. The Elon Musk tax thing is because his money is like shares. 
and that's taxed not much or something. So he's got his own little tax evasion going on. Don't they all? Yeah, I think <laughs> anybody with... Oh, dicks! I blame Elon Musk. Son of a bitch, I forgot. No. Elon, how could you have done this to me? I just went the wrong way. First Twitter, now my speedrun. How could you have done this, Elon Musk? You can just buy expensive paintings and use that as a tax write-off? How would I use that as a tax write How would somebody theoretically <laughs> use that as a tax write-off? You claim it as a business expense. No shit. Wait, but then, wait, that doesn't work because then you have no money and just shitty paintings. I'm confused. How do you get the money back from the paintings? Then you sell the paintings? But wouldn't, wouldn't you still have to pay taxes on that money? Maybe I don't quite know how income works. Oh, you sell them in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> you move to Dubai and sell them. What a painful fucking process. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I have not. Oh my gosh. Do I check my Instagram DMs? I haven't logged into my in my Astral Spiff Instagram in like a year, if that helps you answer that question. We'll see where we're at after this split chat. Oh man, craziest encounter. So... I get, obviously, tons of uh, various sponsor offers. Some bad, some le less bad. I got an offer from a chair company, and like, those I always consider because I am super down for a chair. I'm down to throw like a brand in my Twitch about section for a chair. I'm not gonna do much else. Maybe I'd build it on stream, but that's, that's about all they're getting. So anyway, I get this email and, uh, and they're like, hey, you know, you want this chair brand? And I'm like, yeah, but just so you know, like I wouldn't make a dedicated video. And then she responds and she says, hi, Astral Spiff VODs. And suddenly I realize these people are trying to sponsor my VODs channel, which is just the weirdest thing. So many of these sponsors don't realize that my extras and VODs channel are what they are. And they just have this automated system that's like, X channel is getting this many views a month, let's send them an email kind of thing. That also means, though, that I'd probably have a lot less... <laughs> this VOD is sponsored by Raid, yeah. That also probably means that I'd have a lot less leeway on what I have to do, so I don't think I'm gonna get a chair from them. But it's just blowing, mind-blowing that they are contacting my... Ah, my VOD's channel... Okay. All right, I'm gonna be hella YOLO because we are super behind right now. Do you need assistance? Be quiet. Well, <laughs> there we go. That's the run. It is so easy to kill runs when you go out of bounds constantly. Any small mistake means you either have to reload or die. Which almost always loses like a minute, so it's rip run. <laughs> the cost of speed. I lost a bunch of redstone torches in a circle. Oh! They were, they were AFK and it was set to creative and you left a bunch of redstone torches in a circle around them. And you always wonder how that played out and if they ever told anyone they got haunted by Herobrine. I didn't know... I didn't know that Herobrine was supposed to put redstone torches around you. That's interesting. It's like Yogg's cast shit. Getting haunted. Did like... Oh god. I... Nah, I'm... I, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no purse. Did the Yogg's cast ever finish their, like, Shadows of Something series? Whatever followed their original playthrough? No? Oh. Face looks almost like a <laughs> You're still mad. The Minecraft world got corrupted? Remake it. I don't know. Shadows of... You there? Israfel. Hi, yeah. High hopes for this run? Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> Why'd you 
say anything. <laughs> no! no. <sighs> it might still be recoverable. It might. We'll see. We'll have to see. I'm shocked that wasn't good enough. I almost wonder if it had to be more off, more to the right. Damn. There's nothing quite like losing every run to one jump after 15 minutes of playing well. My bad streak wouldn't last forever, though. So I guess I'm second place right now? Not by much. Like, Mutant, I know, has a 39-43, so we've only got Mutant beaten by three seconds, so... I imagine he'll be able to pull that off in... <laughs> A day or two. But if we get 32 today, it'll be a little bit harder. Aw, oh, loaf. Aw, oh, that's a terrible spot. Sometimes she goes behind my monitors and paws at my mouse, and that's like a not allowed. But she got there when Paige came in. Shit. Now that could be a run killer. So far, she's in an okay spot, but... Because, like, I... I can't really get her out of there, either. Oh, here she goes. Oh, no. Please. Oh, loaf. No, loaf. No. <sighs> that's the problem. That's, that's, that's not a loud spot. Well, she bit me and ran away, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Uh, the run is, as of now, actually going really well. In fact, this is about to be the best pace we have ever been on. Because we didn't die in catwalks. <laughs> which is, which is a big ask! Oh, rare voice line. Gregory? Meh. <laughs> Go to bullying jail. Nice. Poor spacebar. Spacebar is doing fine. Don't worry about it. All right. We have one last thing to do. It does lose perfectly a minute though, so if I mess it up, <laughs> it's pretty much over. Okay. There she blows, chat. That's it. This will be sub 33. And this is, this is definitely got to be second place now. Boom. Holy shit, we golded the last split too. Weird. Hell yeah. 32-47. So that's 20 seconds off world record about. All of a sudden I was second place and the record was super available. I just had to get good a little specifically at the start of the run where my chapter one had been really sloppy. Sub-30 was still well and out of reach, but there was room for a record on the way. But first, mistakes. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. Oh yeah, I like that. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. For real though, that's not bad. I petted the loaf for good luck. 
but ultimately close the door because we can't have a loaf run. I mean, we were 20 seconds ahead for like no reason. I don't know. I feel like we can definitely do that again. It could be more than 20 seconds ahead. We could be 30 seconds ahead after the first chapter. Cheese shade. Blessed be this run's big gigamonte. Whoa, 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 Stop blessing the run too much. You'll overlap and curse it. Cursing this run so it can be blessed. Compow eight cast nail. What did I just join in on? Walkies. Hopefully I don't die to peg trap. That'd be pretty unfortunate. Mutant, I swear my pinky has like toughened. I feel nothing. <laughs> Backrooms, I was dying, but for some reason I am absolutely chilling with this game. Yeah, I never miss pinky day. Okay, nice, not bad. Oh yeah, let's hope for good conduit RNG. True, I didn't forgot about that. Yeah, uh, mid could be worse. So yeah, there are at least three different variations for this one. Most conduits are the same every time, but for some reason this one has a lot of different patterns. I hope I'm not too late. That bottom one's fast. I do not have to fill the second one very much. Holy. Quiet. What did I just join in on? Walkies. Da. Ah. <laughs> we must go faster. <laughs> We must! Uh, <laughs> Good to see you, Roxy. One last crying for today, chat. Don't be sad for Roxy, be sad for <clears throat> Spiff's spacebar. True. All right, let's fucking fly. Let's see if we can make it. Is that? Oh yeah, that is. Oh shit, that is world record. Nice, by three seconds. Yeah, 32.19, let's go. Oh my God. Hell yeah, man, I didn't expect that fucking at all. We went from 35 something today to world record. Fantastic. I was the best on top and surely sub 30 was just around the corner. The next day would begin the depression era of runs. Now there's something I haven't talked about much with these skips. Almost all of them rely on something we called a wedge jump, squishing yourself in the corner and being propelled upwards, just like we had done with security breach. Except they fixed that going into ruin. Kind of. You couldn't just run into the wall and spam jump anymore. Once you found the proper wedge, you had to spam both jump and your directional keys to make it work. Most of the time it was W in space. That's all fine, but the wedge jumps were weird. Some people really struggled with some, and different settings seemed to affect each one differently. You wanted low graphics, maximum frame rate for the one at the top of the elevator shaft in chapter one. But then you wanted lower FPS for the daycare one. The Bonnie Bull one just seemed to be easier for some people than others, and I was grateful to be on the easy end of that. But the Phaser Blast one was a total mystery. And 25 minutes into the run, it was about to become another huge problem for runs, just like catwalks. Tuesday, the load remover got finished, meaning suddenly runs were at least a minute quicker and the race to sub 30 had begun. For me, depression era. Yeah, I'm so early. 
This makes up for every time I was ever late. Doesn't look like it starts time. It does properly remove loads though. That is fabulous. Love to see it. So there's two things that I'm adding to the run and there's a third skip that I can't really add to the run yet. <laughs> I'll probably start trying to do runs with it later today. Why not? Because it sucks. So all you have to know is that you make your way over here, okay? Fun fact, this also skips killing Roxy. That's a good part of the time save. We've talked about wedge jumps. You like, you know, you get into a corner and you bounce yourself up, yada yada, it's the biggest thing. There's a wedge jump right here. <laughs> 28 minutes into the run, we are gonna have the opportunity to try this skip out. It's not that hard after you get the wedge jump. But anyway, wedge jumps. I do them all the time in runs. Uh, they usually go okay because I'll jump, I'll fail, I'll jump, and then I'll get up, let's say. The problem with this wedge jump... Thank you. Is that you only get one try if you don't immediately get it, which is rare for wedge jumps. You just die. <laughs> That's it. So like, I'm gonna jump. That's it. Now nah, it starts you back at the start of chapter eight. Runs dead. <laughs> you have two chances? No, 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 Ben. As soon as you start getting the wedge, you have one chance because if you fail it, then you'll bounce off. So. Now the rest of it isn't actually that crazy. So you wedge jump and you get up to here. Oh goody, we did it. And then you go here, and then you go here, and then you go around this, to this vent. This is the Music Man vent. Mask on. And then over the next vent, so that's another vent that you don't have to do normally. From here, you have to load chapter nine. So I gotta get onto this door, which is a little awkward. And then boom, that's loading chapter nine. And then down to the purple land. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the mask on without warping. Now I'm in normal land with the mask on. So you can go and do this part normally. All the way past Roxy, who's, you know, vibing there. And when I get to the door, that would normally be blocked at this point. Take the mask off, get teleported up, because the game thinks I'm down. And then, ta-da, we've skipped Roxy. But it all starts with that wedge jump that's completely unreasonable. First, we're gonna get a run with the two changes to skips that I can do reasonably well. And then once we get a good in-game time run with that, then I'll start doing the trash skip. So this is one of them. It's a better chap... It's a better chapter six route. There we go. Yeah, so it's the same thing, but a different route. I should honestly jump across at here, because then it's easier to get across. Yeah, okay, cool. So Mutant got a really good time, but we don't know if it's better than my time, because he used the load remover, and we don't know if it's faster than mine, so... We'll say yes. So, we get on the ladder before the game saves that we've started the game. And basically, that means that when it loads in right now, we're going to be down at the bottom of the ladder and the little cutscene where she says stuff isn't gonna happen. So it's just a simple intro skip. Ta-da. All because you get down the ladder quick enough. Now, the better chapter six route would save time, plain and simple, I if I did it right. But the intro skip would only save in-game time. The load remover put me in this weird limbo where I could now easily get a 31 or lower just by matching my previous personal best. But it wouldn't be faster than my personal best per se. Not until around sub 31 because the time save was only really because of the lack of loading time. I will say that probably contributed to the depression arc, being one or more minute ahead knowing I was barely, if at all, actually doing better than before. My first goal was just to get a decent in-game time run to compare against. 
<laughs> My space bar hurts by proxy. Uh oh. Did I did I I did. Oh shit. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> ah! No. It's like more dead now. Like, do you really think, you know, let's say Scott was heavily involved in the movie. Let's say he wrote a lot of the script. You really think he's then immediately going to be like, okay, this entire narrative I've spent the last decade of my life crafting, I completely and 100% hand it over. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't wish to have any sort of influence at all anymore. Yep, that sounds just like him. <laughs> I just wanted to donate five more lol. I couldn't think of a funny joke or anything. Okay. From this point on, I'll start resetting when we lose, when we die in chapter three. And I'm not gonna do the Roxy skip. Should I try the new skip in this run? <laughs> to make up for... Wait, what am I... Oh, God, what am I... Doing? I got so distracted. My brain. Uh, nah, I'm just gonna reset. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Just get on the bucket. I swear, between that and the whole can't fit in the vent thing. Cassie, like, has expanded somehow, and I'm not fitting in tight spaces anymore. What the fuck? Why am I... Why is AR, like... Two to three business days behind. Gah. Oh yeah, speaking of the benchmarking test, I don't know if it's on the same website, but there's that one where there's a whole bunch of squares and it like gives you a, some numbers scattered around the squares. You look at it for a couple seconds and then you gotta like recreate where the square, you gotta, you gotta put where the numbers are. Yeah, the chimp test. And I have never even come close to being as good as the chimps. They're insane at that. Have you seen the video of it? Uh, I mean, I've seen chimps get up to like 20 or something, whereas I hard fall off at 12. Yeah, 20. So that's, for reference chat, that's remembering the order and position of like 20 different squares after only looking at it for a couple seconds. They get bananas for it. I really think even if I incentivized myself with bananas, it wouldn't. I saw a post the other day, it was like this, you know, random jumble of brackets, numbers, letters, and symbols. And it said, I can't believe at one point I could solve this. A wrench. And I looked at it for Just a like bit. Dad's. And I realized that, holy shit, about three years ago, I could have solved that. But I abandoned all ability to work out whatever that was so fast. That I wouldn't stand a chance now. I could like take out a common denominator and I I just about cap out there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's gotta be like a, I don't know, probably 10th of a second window to get that jump. And like I hit it, but she'd fallen off. Yeah, and that was too early. See, that was perfect. I knew it was as soon as I did the jump. Cause it's like right on the cusp of falling off is when you have to jump, but ah. Uh, no. What? Why that one? Ah! It's like it's easier than the second try. <laughs> and I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't know what could possibly. Or am I? 
Wait, do I have to? Oh, fuck. I was doing it backwards, wasn't I? Hmm, sweet. Feels good, man. Let's try the skip that shall not be attempted. I don't even think it would save the run, but might as well do it. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a death, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, well, didn't die. Okay, that's nice. No! <sighs> oh, that'll do it. Sweet angle. Let me go get my trail mix. I don't know how much I talked about it. I know I talked about it a little bit, but a little while ago, me and Paige watched a movie called Zombie Tsunami. It might have taken the spot for worst movie I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, the zombie's weakness was electricity and like only electricity. So yeah, they used an electric current to just like kill all of them. The zombies also had blue blood, so I don't really know where that came from. They're royal zombies? No, I think don't think so. It was bad because it didn't embrace the absurdity like I think Sharknado does a pretty good job of. And like it tried to be serious while being in a movie called Zombie Tsunami. But yeah, like the blue blood zombies came from the water, which doesn't make sense. Paige said it's because water is blue, which I can't say I quite agree with. No, 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 no chat. No, you don't understand, water is blue. Haven't you seen it before? Draw me a picture of water. I dare you, with crayons. What color are you gonna use for water? Clear color? No. Yeah, you're gonna use blue. Don't look at tap water. Tap water is anti-blue water propaganda. The only thing that counts are uh, oceans on a clear sunny day. White water rafting? That's because of white caps. That's different. That's not the color of blue. That's the color of waves. There's a significant... Or, you know what I mean. Then what about the Red Sea, Spiff? How would you explain that, huh? The Red Sea is red. It's the only one that doesn't count. WB the water at my lake? It was green. <laughs> yeah, the reason I said ocean water instead of lake water. No. That one was too early. Never watched a playthrough? That's okay. You'll learn everything you have to know through this run. Through the first uh, 15 minutes of the game until I fail the catwalk jump and restart. Oh my god, Chet, it's big Mercury prop, but shit! Oh, I just accidentally bounced off. Oh my, I can't believe this has happened. We're not supposed to lose runs here anymore. Fourth hour. Oh, Everybody fuck. remember to stay hydrated. Fourth hour and I finished one run? Yep, fourth hour. We're getting to this stage of runs doing? when out of bounds runs become just an unbearable soup. Again, that felt like it. As much as it was, haha, he's only playing the first 15 minutes of the run. This guy, for some reason, has been ridiculous lately. He was painfully accurate. I was four hours into streaming, and the only run I'd finished was the one to put a time on my splits. Otherwise, I hadn't even been close. I'm doing great. Yeah, five hours into streaming to lose runs like that. Yeah, perfect. Fantastic. Hello? Oh, my. Yeah. <sighs> Seriously though, why is this one so much harder than it used to be? Never really had any issue with this guy until now and the last run actually, just today. I'm just not getting any, like, whatever, invisible wall grip. If your cat hasn't broken anything, it's not a cat. It's a government drone. I don't know why I keep saying stuff like this. Big water, big sticky. Government drone cats. It's just the mood I'm in. <laughs> I'm in conspiracy mode. It's because I'm playing these damn games and their convoluted story. I'm always trying to make something out of everything.
Not my day. Not my day. Nice. Let's see how that post treats us, chat. Uh, I bet those security nodes are all the way down there. Rip the f poor Roxy node skip, maybe one day. Yeah, so it wouldn't, like, that skip not only would it save time on, like, interacting with Roxy, but also that little, those stairs it would save as well. Oh, please. Oh, shit. Okay, make a sandwich with it. Oh. <sighs> the fucking recovery. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. So, 3127 in game time. So, we got a, a real fake PB. We have a decent time with in-game time. Not actually the fastest I've ever finished the game, but the fastest in-game time. I got into Tuesday hopeful that maybe even a sub 30 was within our grasp, but could only finish with a 3127, which was maybe faster than my 3216 real-time run, but probably not yet. My plan was to stream every day until I got the sub 30. Enter depression arc two, Wednesday. I know some of you are Martin fans. He's... <laughs> he's... trying to stream until he drives enough kilometers and the, the amount is going up quicker than he is driving. He's done 424 kilometers and like he's probably spent half the time fixing his feckin' car and he's got 5.6 thousand to go. <laughs> so yeah, I was watching, I was watching that too. Good luck. Bruh, he's so boned. Poor Martin. How did the clown survive the Titanic? You think it survived? This is before it sank. Um, here's a little interesting add-on. Spacebar lovers are gonna appreciate this one, I think. Spacebar defenders, whatever, whatever you call yourselves. I've added right click as a jump hotkey, which will allow me to spam quicker without killing the spacebar. So yeah, I think jumps are just going to be easier with the addition of the right-click jump. Time we'll have to see. To have the same fate as the old one. That's fine. You know, my mices can die. It's not the end of the world. But it'll never be as bad as the League of Legends mouse. I figured my best chance at sub-30 was to use the painful Roxy skip, as awful as it was. Because I had gotten reasonably consistent at it. On top of everything else, though, I can't say including it was my brightest idea. Okay, so, uh, this is like, I practice this a bunch. I'm like one in three getting it. <laughs> Yeah! So that's what we're gonna play 25 minutes of gaming to do. I don't think we're gonna get it. <laughs> that's okay. It's important to have haters. Somebody to stuff it in their face when you succeed. Hey, Spiff, take my college funds. Just kidding, I have a job at 15. I'm speed running life. Hell yeah, Goody. I also, that's when I worked at the old folks home. It was 14 and 15. I had to sign like a young worker waiver or something. Yeah, I actually wouldn't recommend getting a job at 1415. I got it because I had a crush on a girl that was working there. Like, it didn't even really cross my mind that I was trying to make money. When I ended up quitting, it was just like, oh shit. Like, I didn't even have access to my bank account for those two years. So when I ended up quitting, it was like, oh shit, I have $2,500. I can buy a cheap car. Nice. So there's ups and downs. I mean, like, yeah, it really, it didn't really, it was just kind of like a, a thing that I did. It wasn't really a job. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of things that I did into my teens were based on simp behavior, yes. But, like, they weren't all bad. 
No, no, she ended up not being my type. But like I made some good friends at the job. It was it was overall good. Does Paige know that I have had that I had a crush on a girl at 14? She does know. Yes. For some reason, suddenly the fence jump had become unbearably hard to make it up. Let me up. It's like a switch got flicked and suddenly I couldn't pull it off anymore. Something had to be done about that fence. Why? I should try this one backwards sometimes. Whew. Well, that sucked. Let's get the new skip. Peppers and chicken in the slow cooker. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's the death I was expecting. Let me do it again, because clearly that went awfully. Bet those security nodes are all the way down there. Yippee free balls. You know? Where was that the first time we were doing it? Damn. Yeah, it's pretty over. <laughs> Chad, did you see that clip <laughs> where Link gets like knocked over <laughs> and the shadows <laughs> make it look like he has like unique physics down there? <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> and I just love how whoever's recording it, like Link gets up and they just pause. And you can, you can tell they're like, what did I just see? I need to rewatch that. <sighs> of course. It's not Jover. It's not Jover. How does that skip work? No idea. You have to land on the plank in the right way. Like one of the bridge planks in the right way. And like, if you don't, you fall. If you do, ta-da, you did it. But again, don't celebrate the minus 22 because at the end of the day, it just comes down to if I get the, the Freddy skip. So as cool as it looks, it still doesn't matter. We could have been behind 20 and it still would have come down to the, the Freddy skip. So. But it's nice to get here. We just need to get past. We need to get to this point as many times as possible today. And the, the wedge jump deities will decide our fate. I guess it's kind of RNG, yeah. Like, I'm not controlling how many mid-air jumps I get. And then I get it the second try, dude. Come on. Well, let's execute. And yeah, you know, maybe if it saves 46 seconds in this chapter... <laughs> Which doesn't, but <laughs> if it did, it does, then Believer's will win. Yeah, I'm not going to finish in a minute. But it's not going to be that far off, I don't think. Wow. Wow. 41 seconds. Now, just imagine if we got that first try, chat. Oh, man. Like, that might have been sub... 30 right there <laughs> okay so i'm gonna reload the game as soon as we get the checkpoint after this because chapter eight wedge jumps are plotting against me and this is my way of fighting back to test my theory we're gonna take on this first wedge jump head on so if i'm right there. no let me up dude fuck this thing Oh my god. And it's dead. Oh my god. I don't think you could recover from this. This one's easier if you V-Sync on? For you at least? Okay, I'll try that. At least I just die and the other skip when I can't get it. I'm not left in this sad, miserable state of jumping on the post. 
security nodes are all the way down there. That was a good run. That was a good run. Can I practice it a bunch? The wedge jump isn't really a practice thing. I mean, clearly I can get it. Just go up. Bam, fam. Woo! Only took three years. <laughs> that took 29 seconds. <laughs> a minute. Uh so sad <laughs> while I was deep in my depression arc Hampshire got the first sub 30 a 2940 well deserved first person to break the barrier now it was my turn but I had to get out of my own head and figure out why I couldn't get past phaser blast consistently yeah FPS does have something to do with it you want high FPS although it's not even necessarily the case on this one because v-sync seems to make this one better watch that corner of my webcam nope is that her, that's not her face is it no that's her butt yeah last run of the day i spent an hour trying to do this fence jump in the catwalk and i only did it twice yeah it's really really fun If only my country allowed me to gamble my balls, you say with a believer icon <laughs> in front of your name. Yeah, if only. Wait, you can have the icon? Oh, what? Okay, I'm sorry I'm accusing you of lying. You can have the icon without actually... That's a smart workaround. Shit, how did I not know about that? That's sweet. Wow, that's some honest believing right there. I've never seen somebody say they're from a country where you can't bet while having a believer icon either. Can you imagine, chat? Oh, if I spent like three grand on cases and opened an $150 knife? Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh... That's right! On Wednesday, I didn't complete a single run in the green. I had finished one five seconds slow, but I basically just spent six hours getting to Phaser Blast, then failing either the fence climb or the Roxy skip. The depression arc had to end soon. Please. Going into Thursday, I had a plan. A loophole idea. Runs didn't allow using a third-party program to change FPS during runs, but they did allow toggling V-Sync, which limits your in-game frame rate to whatever your monitor refresh rate is. But the fence jump that was destroying my runs because my computer was running the game at like 200 FPS, turning on V-Sync and changing my monitor to 60 would make my game run at 60 FPS, and theoretically make the jump a lot quicker. So I'm gonna, cho I'm gonna change <laughs> my refresh rate of my main monitor to 60 which is terrible <laughs> and awful but i'm fairly certain that this will make chapter 8 better why it was just this wedge jump that worked better on low fps i have no idea oh hype trains they're just trying to get your money chat they give you little badges for it don't give in to big <laughs> big hype train <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is max FPS. Overall, pretty ass. Let's 
get some sweet, sweet 60 now. Okay, 60 immediately gets up. So while still pretty terrible, 60 is like almost definitively better for the railing. Yeah, I guess I dropped out. I don't know. I did a semester of online business degree and it just sucked nuts. So I dipped. I had intention of continuing it though. If school went back online, I obviously did not. I feel like you can't be called a dropout unless you've actually done a couple years. I mean, half a sem or one semester is like barely starting. So now we lower the refresh rate of my monitor to 60. All the way down I can feckin' feel it. Hey, that was smooth. Yeah, it's how it's supposed to be. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Obviously, it's not that good because of, you know, the start of the run. But this is my first time getting this. Skipping a run. So let's have some fun with it. You remember me? All right, the first run of mine with saving Roxy. And I guess this will be the second ever finished run with the skip. Yeah, so that's a big turnaround. And I'd say that's like a real actual PB too. Because like my my real time is longer than it was in my last PB, but obviously I spent a bunch of time with the game paused, so I, I think think we can confidently say that's that's true honest sauce. Alright. We have a plan with the FPS. Let's let's get sub 30 now. Finally. Thursday, after so much grinding, I still didn't get sub 30. The stars had aligned kind of for this run, then proceeded to fall out of the sky and crash and burn. Spig, have you tried alien isolation? Oh, innocent Twitch shutter. I have 215 hours in alien isolation. Why no install? Because <laughs> I don't want to play it. Spiff, have you ever thought about playing a Souls game? Oh, innocent Twitch shutter. I have 120 hours. <laughs> have you ever tried playing shooter? <laughs> you guys must be baiting me at this point. There's no way. <laughs> oh, innocent to shatter. I have 130 hours in CS and I'm silver three. I had hoped MatPat was gonna kiss the run with his blessing, but that was not the case. Or was it? God, former President Barack Obama. <laughs> it's so nice to have you. Shoot. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna continue. That's actually... It's not the end of the world. It sucks, but uh, it's not dead. All right, let's finish this off, chat. Man, without that Roxy Raceway, like that was Probably close to 30 seconds. Roxy. This would be world record pace, I think, without that mistake. I'm just so happy that we figured out what makes these <laughs> jumps tick. Damn right, that's a ticking reference, chat. Mint chat, dude, that's sub 30. If I don't, <laughs> if I don't mess up that <laughs> that Roxy thing. Damn. 
That's all right. That was that was good. That was gaming. That was gaming. Let's do it again. A 3025. Pretty sweet. Thank you, Matt Pat, for almost blessing my first sub 30. The day went on and I had some really promising runs, but it cannot be overstated how hard it is to get a run through the gauntlet of nonsense that is any percent. And ultimately that 3025 was where we ended for the day. So Okay. Close. Well, <sighs> That kills the run. I'm not sure if I'll do runs tomorrow. It's either we do runs tomorrow, hopefully get the sub 30 then. We'll see. I can't believe I even said this. Of course I did runs the next day and was equipped with my best weapon yet. The Roxy node skip, but an easier version. Friday was gonna be the day, damn it. I could force enough runs down sub 30's throat that it was inevitable that one would get through. We got good news and bad news. We're not gonna do the terrible, painful, suffering uh, strat <laughs> because there's an easier one. Bad news, it's very marginally slower. Matt Pat's being retired for now at least. Yeah, I'm late, but like, holy crap. I forget when I stream like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I forget just how much I do on like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I'm trying to stream every day and it's like, oh, you gotta do this. Oh, you gotta do this. Oh, you gotta do this. But I just wanna stream. And so I end up having to uh, start it late. I have a good feeling about sub 30 today. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna happen or I'll cry live on stream. Heart. I'll be just like Cassie. <sighs> Damn, I got bounced off. It was so good. That's why I stayed. It's okay. It's literally like a five second death, but it sucks, but it's okay. <laughs> God, what am I doing? The only important thing to note about this run is that there was a fly in my room who wouldn't leave me alone. The most memorable thing from my university semester was like our biggest project of the year is a group project. And <clears throat> it's kind of where a lot of my hatred for online school came from because like I was never even really able to communicate with my group. Never mind actually plan things out together because nobody would talk during our Zoom calls and we had no camera on. So it's just like silence and then we left. So we just divided up the project. We each had our parts and then we, on the last day, we'd put them all together and submit it pretty much. And on the last day, everyone submits their part. And this one girl submits a part and we're like, it's like, it's a little fishy for sure. And so me and another girl put it through like stolen work checker, basically. Plagiarism checker, yeah. It was something like 98% taken from websites. Oh. And we're talking like hours before we're supposed to submit this thing. So we couldn't redo it. So we were just, we just submitted it. And you know, I'll call her Brianna. We are just like, yeah. And we had to throw under the bus. We had no other choice. Like, yeah, so this part's done by Brianna and like it's plagiarized. Here you go. Uh, I actually think she got removed from the program, which is entirely deserved. I mean, it was, we had like months to make this thing, but like it was obvious, like it still had hyperlinks in it. So yeah, enjoy college chat. <laughs> I hope you have blessed semesters. Yeah, no, you, engineering is a lot less team than whatever economics. You talking about this while I order textbooks and do other college stuff is very comforting, yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. How much are those uh, textbooks costing, Daydream Star? Hopefully not very expensive. Uh, so I lived with Riley and Julian, and the Wi-Fi router was in my room. And we had carpet, so like, you don't really want the router on the floor. In case it gets hot. So I propped it up with one of Riley's, like, $200 textbooks that he was never going to use again. Maybe more than $200. Never buy textbooks, either rent or pirate. Yeah, I, uh... 
Well, or... Oh, yeah! So, the issue with the textbooks thing was that there would be, like, codes in the... T one use codes in the textbooks. So, you couldn't necessarily pirate it because you had to get that unique code. You couldn't buy it from previous users either. It is really evil, yeah. So, that's, I think, why my friends had to buy theirs. And why it ended up as my... Router cooler. Here you go again, Spiff. Stealing my money, but oh well, you deserve it. Yep. Reaching into your pocket, literally pulling out your wallet and taking your cash. The code's linked to online assignments. That's so nasty. Like, that's just fucking. I don't even know what to call it. Theft? It's grimy. Oh, that was crispy cream right there. Okay, not bad. You were asking for death, fly. What a master of disguise. I see him once. Oh, there he is. What a fly is like, what, what does he want with me? <laughs> what do I have that he wants? <laughs> Flies want other people to despair. <laughs> My sanity. Moment of truth impending? I know. There's a few moments of truth, actually. Nice, okay. We have a run again. My god, I had a crazy good feckin' start on my PB. There we go. Got the weird bounce, but saved it. Sometimes you bounce so weird on the way up there. And yeah, you just have to be patient and you can make it off. I see it. It's on my monitor. Nothing I can really do. <laughs> He's just chilling there. Taunting me. I'm not gonna punch the monitor, no. Then the fly wins. He's rubbing his back legs together. Ah! As predicted, he made it out. You son of a bitch. I see. Not bad. Now, the fence. Well, not quite. Soon, the fence. Oh my god, fuck off, fly. I got up that so fast, my stamina didn't replenish. Which actually kind of slowed me down. Uh, I bet those security nodes are all the way down there. Time to see how fast this is. 
Now it was time to try the easier but slightly slower Roxy node skip for the first time in a run. As long as it didn't lose more than 20 seconds, I was ahead enough that this could be the sub 30. So this is the easier Roxy skip. Roxy. I've set up for it. I'm not about to do something impressive. You remember me? Okay. Let's see. We'll have to do this quick. I wasn't nervous at all, actually. I was super calm after trying to do that for like 20 hours straight. Feels good, chat. So, we lost time there, right? That's because we did the easier Roxy node skip. I was so worried that it would lose too much, but not quite by five seconds. Dear God, it's not world record. No, a couple, well, Hamter mainly. I don't know, this might be third? I don't know how many people have gone sub 30, for sure Hampter and one other. In the end, I was the third person to get a sub 30 time, but that was my goal. I held record on the way, figured out the ins and outs of how the wild and terrible out of bound skips worked, and pulled it off. Hampter hasn't stopped. As I've been working on this video, new skips have been discovered and Hampter's best is under 29 minutes. I'll link his channel in the description because he might be the one to follow if you're curious about how far this run will go. Though because of the restrictions I talked about, I seriously doubt it could go further than 25 or 26. For now, I'm taking my retirement from Ruin Any% percent runs. I kept going for a few hours after this, but got stopped by the usual suspects. And there's other fun stuff I want to get into. This run will go down as one of my favorites ever. Thanks as always to the entire Security Breach speedrun community because all of these skips were found in there. I'll link the leaderboards which has access to their Discord and whatnot. If you want to watch my full unedited PBs or speedrun streams, they're all on my VODs channel, which is also in the description. Toodles.